Who? All right. Oh my god, this music is beautiful. <laughs> oh no! Where'd the, where'd the game go? Hold up. There it is. <laughs> I have emotions now too. I figured out how to do expressions on here. I'm excited. <laughs> right? This music is so good. It's crazy. I have emotions! <laughs> expressions! Expressions! Wait, that's the word. <laughs> I have emotions. No, I'm not a robot. <laughs> no. How dare you, Kuda? How dare you? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. I've been like, I've had this game up for what? Uh, anyways. I don't know. It's not nighttime yet. <laughs> it's only six. But, oh, at least here. But everything's good. It's good. I've been jamming to this music for like the past hour. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's 10 p.m. Yeah, it's nighttime there. <laughs> it's not nighttime here. It's still, it's evening? Evening. Evening's the word. But yeah. JC, I don't. Does my lurk work? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. <laughs> no. Does it work? It doesn't look like it works. Well, I'll figure that out another time. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Oh. But hello, hello everyone. Uh, we have Angels of Death episode Eddie. So apparently, this is all about like Eddie and his backstory before. He was a part of like the tower and angels of death which i'm excited to see because i we didn't get to know a lot about eddie except like his fascination for rachel so i'm interested to know what this is about let's get into it yes i uh normal arrow key left left click interesting uh okay sounds good Oh, Angels of Death. Episode Eddie. <laughs> where'd, the, where'd the music go? I'm sad. <laughs> I, was, I was jamming to that music. That intro music, man, was so good. Oh, look at him! Ah! Little Eddie boy. Hmm. Sad Hold up, wait, what one's my sad one? No, that's angry. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Angry. Oh god. Beautiful. <laughs> For this grave, I'm thinking. One, two, buckle my shoe. Wait, who? Hey, isn't that- wait, that wasn't you speaking? Who's speaking? D4, knock on the door! What is happening? Five, six, 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 seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Guys, come on, you're always mess around. What? Come on, finish the song. Dig a big- what? There's more of them? Oh my god. There's a whole- What the heck was this? <laughs> what? Uh, you're still at- Play hide and seek! Play with us, big bro! What? 
I can't mess around. I have a grave to think about. We already tended to the graves for the night, though. I've still got stuff to do. I'm thinking real hard about what kind of grave would be best. You always take forever when it comes to grave stuff. A new grave? How how you make it? Tell me, show me. <clears throat> well, that's the problem. I'm thinking about the kind of person is going to go in this grave. I forgot to ask Dad. And he's off buying new stone for the grave, so I can't ask him now. I know, this is like a whole family. They all have the same... Like, they're wearing the same thing. Why do they all wear those, like, head things? What are those? It looks... Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> hey, like, really, who cares? I care! Hey, Albert. Do you know? Do you know who's gonna be in this grave? Does he not talk? Hey, Eddie. Albert? Hey. H hey. Who? Shut up. How the hell should I know? Uh. H hey, Eddie. See? That's what you get for being Mr. Serious. Your eyes always get bloodshot when you're thinking about graves and it gets so weird. <laughs> 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 hey, don't worry about it. Albert's just in a bad mood. Eddie, I've heard a bit about this grave grave's owner, so I can tell you a bit more about her. Really? Thanks, Carl. I want you too. I want you too. <laughs> oh. Why am I saving? Saving scares me. <laughs> Wait. I know her? It's a girl? Who is It's not. That doesn't look like Rachel though. The grave's for a girl. A cute girl. Still real small. Probably about George's age, I guess. Oh, So she died real young, huh? Hmm. A cute little girl. The grave's base has gotta be small. Around? Like her. A small, cute little gravestone be best. Hey, how'd this girl die anyway? They found her in the forest, her corpse that is. They think she probably fell off some cliff. Someone saw her go into the forest, she was chasing after something apparently. Chasing after something? She really loved cute things, that girl. She So she probably was after a small, or after an animal. Well, animal. Cool! Our family loves animals too. We've got so many pets. I wonder if she caught up to it. I mean, it would be kind of sad if she hadn't. I know! A decoration! A forest animal one! So she can play with it! A unicorn? Maybe? They say little girls believe in unicorns, right? I bet she'd love to see one herself. So tell me, what else did this girl like besides animals? What she like? Uh, well, it's not like I knew her, but uh, she was always wearing dresses and various patterns. The day she died, she left the house in a dress with a red heart pattern. The, uh, but when they found her body, she was banged up and so bloody. They thought she was wearing a plain dress. Could hardly tell who she was. Damn, what the- what killed her? What? I see. But her bur burial dress is plain, too. Doesn't sound like she'd like that. I know. I'll put a pattern on her grave. Tomatoes? <laughs> uh, flowers. Flowers are cute. Oh, no. Are we gonna do stars? Like, you can't think, oh, this is- her. just throw some flowers <laughs> I like flowers! <laughs> it's too obvious. No, no, I'm saying... You're never gonna get girls like that. <laughs> but Eddie likes flowers! 
that's that's not what I care about. Fine, fine. We'll go with another one. Uh, should we go tomatoes? Tomatoes? Wait, tomatoes is the answer. <laughs> What? Eddie, are you serious? What's wrong with tomatoes? They're really cute. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's a bit, you know, too on the nose. They're round, shiny, and they turn bright red under the sunlight. Isn't that beautiful? You know, hearing you say that, I'm starting to get on board. <laughs> tomatoes? A tomato print... On, on the grave or on her dress? Is he gonna buy her a dress to wear for her burial? Wow, awesome! I was watching. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> there. The grave's a bit unique. I hope the girl will like how special it is. Well, looks fine to me, I guess. Man, you really are good at this. <laughs> What's, what's Albert's deal? What's Albert's deal, huh? Whoa, there's the dad! I'm guessing. What is- what is that? Is that gravestone stuff? <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> dad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Take a look. Good stone, huh? <clears throat> they really are. These make great gravestones. Eddie, you can tell your dad's eye for quality really came through, I'll tell you. We're a gravestone- gravekeeper family here. Need to learn to tell your prime stone from your plain rocks. Especially you, you're the eldest. We need you making the right calls. <laughs> Look all the same to me. Oh, uh, it's about time to get home. Don't want your mother yelling at us. Come on, we're headed back. Now look at this. You make this, Albert? <laughs> it was Eddie. Eddie did it. He made it super good. I provided a word or two of advice, too. I see. Eddie, you always see things from the dead's point of view when you work. I'm real proud of you. What we gravekeepers do is think of people's lives and deaths as we make their graves. <laughs> Looks like Eddie's getting all the praise yet again. If only your brothers took a page out of your diligent book, I tell you. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> He's spinning in little circles. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at him! <laughs> I love Eddie. I love Eddie. He's so cute. Well, it's too late for you kids. Your mom's waiting. We're going home. I want to see mommy. Let's go. All right. We're tying up before we go. Tying up? Ugh, come on. I'm exhausted. Oh. There goes Albert. Hey, Albert. Didn't put so much as a tool away. Thought he was doing sort of well today, too. Albert was acting kind of weird again, so I'll catch up to him. Hey, Carl, what do you do? <laughs> oh, damn. So are, are they all... What? So the whole family are gravekeepers. This is a child. Because <laughs> I know Eddie's like 13, because Rachel was... Th he said he was like the same age as Rachel. Rachel was 13. Uh, so this child is, like, tiny. Holy shit. Stop crying! Oh boy, before George was too young to come to the graveyard at night. <laughs> Dad. <clears throat> oh, that was too high. <laughs> Dad, you can go on ahead with George. I'll tidy up around here. I'm a little worried about Albert and Carl, too. You're not going to be scared out of here by yourself, Eddie? I'll be fine. I'm a gravekeeper's son. I love the graveyard. Right, right. Well, I'll leave you to it. 
Come, George. We're going to see mommy. The polka. <laughs> shoo, shoo, shoo. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> I I'm dying. The sound effects are the I I'm loving this game so far. <laughs> your brothers really need a page or two from your book. Especially Albert. The eldest always inherits the graveyard tradition. It is a little gremlin. The little I don't know how young the little child is, but God. You're so tiny. Look at like he's tinier than Eddie, so that means he was shorter than Rachel. And Rachel is tiny. What? <laughs> yeah, tradition. Well, thanks. I'm counting on you. Sure thing. Still, still really hurts where Albert punched me. Well, gotta bring this pick and shovel back to the shed. Any gravekeeper worth his salt takes care of his tools. I got a shovel. Uh, pickaxe. Hello, guard! Is there anything else I need to pick up? Oh, this looks so cool. Heavy gravestone. Unique pointy gravestone. Adorable gravestone. <laughs> Bold stylish gravestone. Artistic gravestone with a sleek color. A well-sculpted gravestone. A large headstone with an uh, authentic design. A cross-shaped headstone. A flat, simple gravestone. A small, round, tomato pattern gravestone with a unicorn horn. <laughs> All these, like... Wait, my house is this way. The shed's the other way, right? Oh, okay. What's this? Wait, is this, like, flowers? What is this? Oh, what? 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 Okay. <laughs> Hello, Zen! This game is... It looks can be deceiving, but so far it looks cute. It's a horror game, though, so... <laughs> We'll see how this goes. Oh, is there not a path there? Is the path here? I gotta put these back. Okay, I was like, wait, where's the shed then? Oh, uh, very small. Wait, this is a grave? Very old, small grave. That's far away from all the other graves. I wonder why. I know, I want to see what, like, what made Eddie the way he is. Uh, when he was in the act like the main game. I'm interested to see all his backstory here. That does it. Oh, he has an idea. And since I'm alone, I'll stop by there before I go- Where's there? The grave. It's only been a few days since I made it. I'll go check to see if the flowers are wilted. Is it this, this way? <laughs> I was like, why was there a flash of light? Oh no. I'll scare close my eyes when it gets scary. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know I don't know when it's gonna get scary, man. I feel like it's it's coming. It's soon. It was just birds gave me the scare there. It was such a beautiful song though. Just like our little bird. Oh, uh. Excuse me? Was that... Was that actually... I come to the graveyard at night a lot. And I'm usually used to how spooky it is. That didn't even scare me, but... I've never seen a ghost up close before- Oh my god! <laughs> and I think it was a ghost of a girl? It looked like one. Or maybe I was just imagining it. Are you gonna go after a ghost girl? Is that your first crush? Eddie? Hey, Eddie, what the hell are you doing? Carl, what's wrong? Dad told me to come out and get you. How come? What happened with Albert? He just went right home and locked himself in his room. Throwing a tantrum, like usual, too. Hell. Or lucky he's hitting his stuff. Yeah. He always been real sensitive, but he's been pretty bad lately. Hey, man. You alright? Like, Albert's been pretty rough on you recently, hasn't he? I'm... 
I'm fine. Uh, this is no big deal, really. I mean, I'm sure Albert has a lot going on himself. Yeah? Well, here's hoping Albert will cheer up soon. Anyway, we're going home. Yeah. You're not going home, are you? <laughs> are you just gonna stay out here? Huh, Andy? That ghost girl. What was that about? I wonder. Will I get to see her again? <laughs> hey, hurry up. We'll get yelled at. Uh, wait up. I'm Be right there. I want to see the ghost girl. Is this the mom? Do they all have... Are they gingers? <gasps> Do they all have red hair? Wait, Eddie. Take off your mask. <laughs> Please, I want to see. I want to see Eddie's face. We never got to see Eddie's, Eddie's face before. I want to know. Eddie, you're out so late. I was worried. I can't believe your father let you in the graveyard at this hour. I know the graveyard. You're a gravekeeper's son, but you can't do that to a kid. But I love graves, so I was totally fine. I know you're very passionate about helping out, but... And not even seeing a ghost will scare me. Eddie. But today, near the shed, there is a girl in white. Eddie, I don't want you getting out of sorts, too. Uh oh. Let's go inside. Take off your mask. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Show me my boy. Show me. Show me the baby. Mama's pretty on, still pretty on edge. <gasps> Oops. I kept my mask on all the way to my room. Even though mom told me not to. But you know, I like keeping this on, even inside. No! I wanna see! Please! How could I not? This is a gravekeeper's uniform. Please. Well, I'll just get yelled at. I'll just take it off. <gasps> oh my god. Phew! <gasps> I forgot to take off my gloves, too. Well, I can at least keep this part of the graveyard with me at home. Oh my god! It is a cuteness overload! Oh my god, look at him! I'm in love. He's so cute! He's he's my son. I have adopted him. He is now my son. <laughs> he is my son! My son! My baby! Oh, I know the freckles! He has little freckles! Look at the freckles! Look at the little freckles! Oh, he is officially my son. He is my son. I have adopted him. He is my son. <laughs> my son! But my gloves look like they're about to tear. That's fine, baby. I wonder if I- Yes, I'll get you a new pair. I'll get you a new pair of gloves. <laughs> I'll give you a new pair of gloves. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Mom, looked like she wasn't in the best mood, so I think I'll ask my dad. Yeah. He complimented me today, too. Yeah. He'll give me a- he'll give me a new- yes! You'll get a new pair of gloves. You'll get- you'll get a new pair of gloves. Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh my god. Oh, you're so cute. I- I will not shut up about how cute he is. Look at him. Look at this beautiful bean of a boy. I love him. Uh, what is happening? Come on. Oh, is that the mom? Uh. Honestly, I, I will get him a cute pair of gloves. He will have the best gloves ever. Oh, this is- I was like, why can't I move? And I'm like, there's- why is there a bird cage? There's just- there's a random bird cage. There's holes in the wall. Uh, who's this? What's up? I don't know. Is this the mom? Uh, won't come down from the shelf. Oh, there's a bird up there! Yeah, she's not moving. Is it an owl? 
Come on down. See, she won't give me so much as a hoot. I don't know if that's the brother. Can I... Birdie? Birdie bird? Can I help? It's no use. Oh, uh... Oldest brother's room. There's a lot of holes and punches in the wall. Alright, whose room is this? Okay, so this is probably the second oldest brother. Is what I'm guessing. Is this his bird? I think that's his bird. Do we just leave? I'm gonna leave you with your bird. God damn it. <laughs> oh, look, there's so many animals. Oh my god, look at the child. Why are there so many pets? <laughs> Why does it sound like it's smacking him? <laughs> the tickles. Good boy. Is it, is it like a little Pomeranian? It's so pretty. <clears throat> oh my god, look at all the animals. What is this? Is it, ah! <laughs> Everything makes noises. Variety of books about graves and gravestones are here. There's a television. There's a dog? And a cat watching TV. Alright, that's- Oh, what did I just- Did I step on it? I hope I didn't step on this. What is this? What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Uh -huh. I hear mom and dad. Are they in the back? Let's talk to your little brother. Can I? She's being really quiet. She tired from her walk today? Are there are those more dogs? How many pets do we have? This is a bird. It's another bird. That's a cat. I don't know what this means. <laughs> is, it, is it a kangaroo? What is this? What am I stepping on? What are you? I'm sorry I keep stepping on you. What is- is it back here? What is this? Is this a kitchen? Whoa. Bread for breakfast is here. Smells good. Bread for breakfast? Oh, there's mom and dad. Eating utensils. Can I go back? I want to explore. Can I go here? <gasps> I can explore. <laughs> no, is it a bunny? It did hop. So it might be a bunny. That would make sense. There's tools here for making gravestone designs. Oh, is this like the, like the workshop? Tools are here. These are kind of small. Uh, these kind of small ones are George's. This mask, these gloves, it took- I took such good care of them when they were mine. I was really attached to them. Oh, did you get like- did you- is it like hand-me-downs? Probably. Probably. Wait, so are the masks like- I'm trying to figure out how these masks work. Cause they look almost flat, but when they're on the head it's like a pumpkin. So- <laughs> How does it work? How does this work? Uh, so that's why they get pretty worn out pretty quick. These are Kyle's, my second oldest brothers. They're still almost new. These are Albert's, my oldest brothers. He's the only one who always gets new stuff. Well, he is the oldest, and he's apparently supposed to inherit the company, the grave gravekeeper stuff. So I guess, I guess that makes sense. Alright, what's going on over here? I just, just don't understand what's going on with Albert. Don't worry so much. He's just, yeah, maybe it's just a rough age, you know? It's not what he's acting like. He locks himself in his room, lashes out at the drop of a hat, and all that screaming. Mass engineering one <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, how do, how, how, how do I make it? I want to make one. I want to see if I can make one. <laughs> but how does it collapse? Why does it collapse if it looks like a pumpkin when it's on your head? I'm confuzzled. He's been hurting the family pets lately, too. Oh, was the wrong one. He may be at a difficult age, but he just wasn't this kind of kid. Oh, come on now. Don't cry. You've got to keep it together. But Albert's our eldest son. What if he gets worse? What if he took his own life? What then? 
In this family, it's tradition that the eldest son takes over. If we keep a close eye on him, we can keep the cycle going. And don't worry, the younger boys have it together. They'll be fine. And Albert, well, he'll come around. He'll take over as a great gravekeeper. Oh. Oh. I know, why, why is Albert hurting the pets? Not the pets. Is this a good time to... I don't know, Eddie, I don't know if this is a good time. <laughs> Eddie, how long have you been there? Uh... I... I just got here? What's wrong? Oh, well, alright then. What do you need? Well, it's my gloves. They're about to tear apart. So, I... I was wondering if I could get a new pair? New gloves, huh? Well... You do help out the most around here. Really? Oh, he's so cute! Oh, he's adorable. I love him. Actually, come to think of it, I just happened to have some of Carl's gloves that got too small for him. Huh? Carl's gloves are hand-me-downs from Albert, but those two are lazy as can be, so the gloves still in great shape. There we go. You can just have Carl's old ones. In that case, I'd rather just keep on using my own gloves. Eddie, how about you let me mend your gloves for you? Could you, Mom? I certainly could. Hmm. But these gloves are already too small for you, Eddie. I know, I'll mend them, so go and give ahead and give to the- Oh, no, don't give them to George, he's- Oh. But he has, like, an attachment to these gloves, don't it? doesn't he? You should really take Ca Carl's old gloves. That would be best. Okay. Oh, oh my baby! <laughs> don't be sad. Don't be sad. You make me sad. No. No. Well... I'll go get the gloves from Carl then. And I'll give these gloves to George later. This family is not too blessed in the pockets, you know? You can't skimp on pets and gravestones. And there's our traditions, too. And I'm really proud of you, Eddie, because you understand all that. <laughs> Aww, baby! Baby. Again, hand-me-downs again. Even though they're always complimenting and praising me. Maybe I could ask again. Maybe not. Sounds like they're all talking about Albert in their room. It's kind of a family tradition. No way around it. I'll get Carl's gloves from the tool room and go talk to him. Aw. My poor baby. You look so sad for the cycle maybe hmm <laughs> I still don't are you a squirrel what are you I ah, just <laughs> there's no way to talk to it you just step on it and it just makes us like scuts a <laughs> noise <laughs> uh, go get his gloves ba -ba -ba. these Carl's are still really new looking they'll be mine now and mine go to George, and then... Hmm? I'd better hang my mask up here properly. There we go. Now then, let me bring these gloves to Carl and ask him. Uh, hello. Hey, come on, not again, I'm busy. Bad dog. He just wants love! Sorry for yelling. I love you, okay? Yes, good. Be nice to the pets. Good boy. Good boy, Eddie. He's your good boy. Pets. The whole family's got to take care of them. They're all treasures. All of our treasures. Aww. That's cute! That's so cute! Ah. Uh, Monson, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I've got to hurry over to Carl. 
Let's go. Let's go to Carl. Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope I th I think I said your name right. Mon Monsan? Monsan? I think. I think I that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> hey, Carl. Oh, wait, no. Run voice. Ah! Uh, what? Dad told me to come get your gloves as hand-me-downs. Yeah, yours are pretty beaten up. Sure, you can have them. <laughs> Mine are hand-me-downs from Albert, though. Still, we never do any work, so they're pretty untouched. Right, thanks. Yeah, Monsen or Mont? Okay, cool. Nice. Hello. Good to see you. Good to meet you. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, wait, who's talking again? <laughs> no, I can't tell. Uh, but hey, like, I gotta wonder. Okay, good, I got the right voice. Huh? Like, I'm fine with getting Albert's old stuff, but you take this real seriously. Don't, doesn't getting hand-me-downs kind of piss you off? Yes, it pisses him off. My poor boy. My son. My poor son. Oh, it is an owl. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn it, she just won't come down. Why'd she fly up there in the first place? Albert was throwing a fit in front of his room and knocked over the owl cage. Poor girl got away, but she's been pretty spooked since then. She won't budge. What? That's awful. Our pets belong to all of us. How could he threaten one? Someone sure is a nice guy. Gotta say I agree, but... When I think about how the house and all the undubbed Alberts... Kind of makes me a lot less eager to take care of all these pets. That's... That's not right. The pets belong to the family. Not just one person. Eddie? Who? What? 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 <laughs> What's wrong? George, what's the matter? What happened? What's up, little dude? Brown rep. Did you kill the rabbit? What do you mean she's dead? What? I thought she was asleep. Then mommy and daddy came and said she was dead. <laughs> uh, she's been pretty weak lately, that rabbit. Eddie, you think you can bury this one too? Of course. I'll take care of it. Right now, in fact. You can do it tomorrow, it's late. Mom's not gonna let you go out. I want help too. Calm down, you'll piss off Albert. Holy Toledo. Eddie, you just get back to your room and keep quiet too. Wait, what one's my room? I never saw Eddie's room. Where's Eddie's room? Wait. All right. Wait, where's my room? Where was my room? Is it this one? Okay, this is my room. <laughs> I was like, wait, where did where did we come out of? I don't remember. That rabbit, she was so delicate. It's been really loud at home lately, so she must have been stressed. Oh. No, isn't that Albert? Oh, fuck, what's gonna happen? Uh, Albert? Uh, don't hurt my boy. Don't hurt my- No, 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 I wasn't- No, no, he wasn't- No, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Uh, d please, please. Please don't hurt my boy. My son. Don't hurt my son. <laughs> I swear. You were talking about him. No. Huh? I- I wasn't. I- Me? Talking bad about you? Nah. What you talking about? Oh, no. <laughs> no! No! That's not talking bad about you! Heard you shut up! <laughs> So you didn't want hand-me-downs. Uh, I... <laughs>
Ay, stop letting me boy! <laughs> Not you, the perfect little gravekeeper. <laughs> no, stop it! My boy! You're always mocking me, aren't you? You think I can't do anything, don't you? No, no, I... I mean, I'm the oldest brother. You can do everything better than me. And that's why you're always harping at me, isn't it? Because you know I can't do anything. You don't know anything. You're just mocking me. Everyone. Everyone needs to shut up. Dad, Mom, you guys. Even our pets do nothing but talk bad about- What? But- but the animals wouldn't do something like that. Don't torment the pets like that. They belong to all of us. Go away, Albert! Leave my son alone! You heard that everything in this house is gonna be mine? You ever think about how I feel having all these needy garbage around me forever? But the pets belong to all of us. They're, they're not just one person's. I don't know if he's possessed as much as just pissed. I don't know. What, what fucking stick do you have up your ass, sir? Like, excuse you? I. That's so then. Shut up and take their. No, 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 no. Why? Why did it just go red? None of them knew. Albert, the eldest heir, was already on the brink as it was. If the family found out, I knew he'd only get worse. And then he was beating me up. He left the rest of the family and the pets alone. No! I think both. But he's taking it all on, out on Eddie now. What the fuck? So it just dawned on me. Nothing else could be done. That was that. Eddie! Eddie. Baby. Oh. Hmm. My BB. It's your poor boy. Really hurts where Albert kicked me. But if he won't hurt the animals, then I can grit my teeth. He's the eldest, so he must be really stressed. I don't understand how he feels at all, but how could he hate the idea of our pets becoming his? I don't know, he's selfish, jealous, envious, all of the above. No. I'm going to bury the rabbit right now. I want to make all their graves myself. Because unlike Albert, I love the little guys. I'm the one to bury them. I'm sure they'll be... Yeah. Yeah, let me go and get ready, then take her to the graveyard. Uh, yeah, is this a good idea? Isn't your mom mad? There goes Albert again. He's just getting worse. Probably won't get better either. Albert, he's just not normal anymore. I love working at the graveyard so much more than he does, and yet... I was about to say, don't say anything bad about him. Still scared, huh? Hmm. Vibe into the music. <laughs> it's so good. Angels of Death soundtracks are just always the best, I swear. They have like the best soundtracks. This is like music you can just always vibe to. Alright, here we go. I've got my shovel too. But all of these are just hand-me-downs for my brothers. And these will end up hand-me-downs to George. Alright, no dark thoughts. Not when I'm about to dig me a grave. How is that not- I don't know how you can be so happy to dig a grave. Isn't that like a sad thing? Burying something that died? Isn't that supposed to be sad? Now let's get going. I'll make sure you rest in peace. I got a rabbit corpse! 
Great. Great. Is this where the rabbit was? So I'm guessing this is another rabbit. Maybe. It just confuses me when it lies down like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I know, it's his job, but still. Wait, are those goats? Is that a duck? <laughs> just like animals. <laughs> oh. It's dark out, but the weather's great. I know I can make a great grave tonight. Time to hurry to the graveyard. Wait, the animals. <laughs> I want to see. Well, she's quite... Oh, look at the... There's a duck. Is that a duck? Is it a duck? Come back here. I want to talk to the duck. No, don't swim away. Come back here. Come here. No, come here. Come. Come. No. Come back here. Okay, fine. I see how it is. You don't want to say hi. Damn. I want to say hi to the duck. You know, I really love the graveyard at night. I feel so motivated all of a sudden. Like this time, this grave is all mine. Oh, I know. I'll pick some flowers. A brown rabbit, so yellow flowers would match perfectly. Alright, let's get picking. These flowers? Are these flowers? These ones? Where do I pick flowers? These ones? Flowers? Pick Here? Oh, you said yellow. These ones. Yes. I grieve that I thought up all for this little rabbit. <laughs> yellow flowers. I love this. I think I should get more yellow flowers. Where are there more yellow flowers? I don't see any more over here. Is it over here maybe? There are more <gasps> yellow flowers. Wait, there's some down here too. I'm the one who will make her grave. I won't let anyone help. Just need a few more. make a better grave than ever than either of my brothers. <laughs> this should be enough. Off to the grave for art in the back. Back here? <laughs> oh. Just pick black a uh, pitch black ba forest back here. Oh my god. Words. But I know the way. If you just move through the trees like this... Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty! Oh. Ba, ba. Beautiful place, isn't it? I love it here! And this, and this is where I'll make you a perfect grave. Not going to say anything. Oh, it's dead! How is it going to say anything if it's dead? I wish I could have said that to you before you died. There. I'll make you a place where you can rest in peace. Peace. <laughs> there are yellow flowers over there. That's where I'll bury you. Uh, right here? Alright, I'll make your grave. Me and no one else. See, I love animals. This place I love, the gravekeeper's tools I love, they all will stop being mine. But the family pets, they won't end up hand-me-downs. They belong to all of us, and none of us. Oh, he's in the hold. <laughs> he's just digging. He looks like he's vibing in the hole, though. He's like, swaying. Da, da. But yet, this moment is different. When I'm making the grave of a pet that's died, then and only then, only then I think... See, he's like vibing. He's just, he's proud of his work. I'm proud of him too. <laughs> Look at him. How can you be? Yes, this is mine. In the end, I gotta make the grave to bury the pet I loved. Oh. So her last moments... Her grave, too. It's all mine. Uh, who's talking? Hey, what are you doing? 
Who's the... Oh! Huh? Huh? Oh, hello! Tiny child. Hello! Who are you? That ghost girl? Er, uh, ghost? Where? Where? <laughs> uh, hey. I'm talking about you, you know. Me? Does she not know she's a ghost? Girl. <laughs> Look, she's adorable! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not a ghost. But you showed up out of nowhere in a graveyard at night. That's ghostly. I... I guess it is. Sorry for scaring you, but... <laughs> I thought you were a ghost. Why? I know I thought it was Viola too. <laughs> I was like braids, blonde hair, but no green eyes, so so not quite, not quite. Almost. Almost like Viola. Well, that thing you're wearing, it looks like something from Halloween. <laughs> You know that- Yes, right! It looks like a pumpkin! I'm not crazy. It looks like a pumpkin on your face. <laughs> how? How? It deflates and then it becomes a pumpkin when it's on your head. What? Well, it isn't. It's- This is my family's. A grave creeper tradition. <laughs> tradition. <laughs> grave keeper? That's right. My family takes care of graves. Oh, wow. Then, uh, sorry for laughing. It's so round and cute, I couldn't help it. <laughs> what a weird girl. Her clothes are all messed up and she isn't even wearing shoes. But her laugh is just so beautiful. Oh! Hey, I won't get in your way, so can I watch you dig this grave? Huh? Well... Wait, it's really late. Don't you have to go home? It's okay. I don't have anywhere to go home. What? So, is it okay? Oh? It is magic. It's a magic pumpkin mask thing. <laughs> if you keep it a secret. If you keep quiet about me making graves here, then... Then sure. As long as you just watch. Really? Don't worry, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ah! Is this your first girlfriend, Eddie? Wait, that's kind of- wait, is your first girlfriend a ghost? Look at her! She's just vibing watching. I love this. Look at them! Yes. There we go. Wow! It came out so well! This grave's for a cute little rabbit who always perked her little ears up when she was happy. I really hope she likes the gravestone I made for her. The little rabbit in there. He must have taken great care of her. I just know she's happy. You... you think so? Yeah, I know so. I think it's a great grave where she can rest in peace. <laughs> oh, look at them! Oh, the sun's up. It's almost morning. Oh, where are you going? Well, I'll get going. Wait, what's your name? Where do you live? That's a secret. But I'll be back when it's night again. Next time we meet, I want to see you make a grave again. S see you later. <laughs> I'm here at night all the time, okay? 
Oh my god. And my name's Eddie. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. My son. <laughs> See you again, Eddie. They're adorable. I love them. She's gone. She just disappeared when the sun came up. That girl really is like a ghost. But her ghost, those cuts and bruises sure looked new. It's weird. Barefoot with tattered clothes. But she laughs a lot with a pretty voice. What a strange, cute girl. I hope I get to see her again. I hope you do too. You guys are adorable. I gotta get you back home before people wake up. I know, did you sleep? Eddie, did you sleep at all? I'm worried about you. Is she not a ghost? I know, I ship it. I ship it already. I so ship this. This is so cute. I love it. What a strange boy that was. I've got to get back before anyone at home wakes up. Oh, she's not a ghost? Oh. I'm her? Oh. Huh? 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 Is this home? What? Phew. Looks like it, he's not awake. Just go quietly upstairs. Don't make a sound. Upstairs? Oh shit. Uh, what is this? They grow up so- I know! My boy is growing up so fast. Uh, um, it's not what you think. I was just going f to the bathroom. <coughs> Ow. What is happening? But- Yes, sir, I will. What? What is happening? What? It hurts. I never get to leave this room. All I did was go outside a little, so why? Why did... It's like I... It's like I don't even exist. But that boy, he said, see you again. She's not a ghost yet. <laughs> I can feel it. I feel it. He did say see you again. I, I want to- Yes! Go see Eddie. Go see your beloved. Go see my son. <laughs> Please. She started showing uh oh. <clears throat> she started showing up at the graveyard at night. And I started going to the graveyard at night more and more myself. I was there for the graves, of course. But I started wanting to see that strange girl too. Oh I love them! Look at them. <laughs> I love it! Look at them! <laughs> Every time we meet, we talk a lot. We just talk about my gravestones and the graveyard in general, and yet... She'd always laugh with that beautiful voice. I always enjoyed it. I love treasure the time I had with her because being with her was just as wonderful as making my pet's graves wait how many more pets died what what happened 
even if bad things happened, I was fine with it all. Oh. Albert happened? Maybe. Oh, I think that was Albert. Worry? Dot dot dot. Angry. Confused. Worry. <laughs> dot dot dot. Eh? Oh no 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 no! No! Why are you hurting my boy? There's me. That's not nice. That's not nice. Hm. They hand me down, the family, Albert. I grit my teeth through it all. There was nothing I could do, but it all hurt a little. And when it hurt and I saw her, my heart would fill with joy. Because my time with her felt like it was ours and ours alone. But every time I saw her, I'd wonder something. I mean, I haven't told her everything about myself either, but I just don't know a thing about her. And how can I when she won't talk about herself at all? She has an abusive father, question mark? An abusive parent, apparently. I wonder, will she be there tonight? I hope I get to learn a bit about her today. She just won't let- won't tell me anything about herself. And... It feels like she's getting a bit weaker every time. I wonder if she'll be there tonight. Will she be? She will, right? I mean, we're saying- always saying see you again, so... Oh, baby. Yes. You'll see her again. You'll see her. Go see her. Go see your beloved. Your- your- uh, go see her. Oh! <gasps> oh, uh, she did? Uh, what's wrong? Are you- are you sleeping? Hey, you okay? Oh, is she alive? <laughs> Did I scare you? Oh my god! Yes! <gasps> oh, I thought she was dead. Oh, I thought she was dead. Really? Come on, you really scared me. Sorry, sorry. I was just sleeping, really. But, but, your face is so pale, so... <gasps> Eddie, you're really so nice. Huh? You always take care of your house and family. You make beautiful graves for your dear pets. You even come out here at the night to tend to the graves, right? And yet, you were worried about me just now, even though I was just sleeping. You... you take good care of... so much. See, Eddie? You're really nice. Me? I am just... <laughs> just doing what anyone else would do. <laughs> Oh my god, the gremlin. She's, she's, she's a little gremlin. Tiny bit gremlin. <laughs> They're so cute though. I can't be mad. <laughs> but your face really is super pale. And those cuts, those bruises, there's more of them. Really? They're about the same. It's dark out here, so maybe it looks like that? Don't let anyone know, but I've got a really great place. The breeze there is just great, so, so if you wanted, we could go there now. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'd love to. Let's go. <gasps> They're going on a date. <laughs> They're going on a date. Oh no. We'll just go up this way in the back. Watch your feet. Oh, they're going on a- Look at them! This way in the back? This- this way? This- what way? What way is this way? Wait, what way is this way? What? Here? Here? 
way is this way? Here? Eddie, help. <laughs> Wait, which way is this way? Do I go down? No, not down. What? Eddie, where am I going? I don't- I do not know the way. <laughs> I don't know the way. Oh, where is the way? Eddie, tell me the way. Please. Please tell me the way. Oh! There- that was a bridge? I'm so blind. Oh my god. I found Dewey. <laughs> They're on a date. <laughs> what is this place? If we go further in, it's really beautiful. Oh my god, they're on a date. My son has grown so much. He has himself a little date. So, what do you think? I like it. It's really beautiful here. So beautiful, I just want to stay here forever. Hey... How about we talk a little, here a little? Talk? Yeah, talk. You never talk about yourself, right? So I was hoping that today I could learn about you. I mean, not if you don't want to. I, uh, just wanted to know your name at least. Hmm. No, we're friends, so I wanted to know. It's not that. I just don't have anything to say. What? See, me, it's like I don't even exist. And if you don't exist, well, what can you talk about? Then, when you go home, where do you go? Not a place I call home. Just a place I always have to go back to. Should I do? I don't even know. I'm sorry, Eddie. Hey, you're sure you're not a ghost or something, right? Huh? Oh, no, no, uh, um. I didn't mean it in a bad way, just, uh, um. <laughs> hey, no need to laugh. Are they gonna kiss? Are they gonna kiss? You know, I might be better off as a ghost. Huh? Wh what do you mean? <laughs> Come on, don't laugh at me. Sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, kiss! Kiss under the moonlight. Do it. Kiss under the moonlight. <laughs> Please. You're so cute. That strange girl, slightly sad. Before I knew it, she was all I could think about. But I didn't know a thing about her. And hold hands at least, please. Please at least hold hands. Be cute couple, please. Please, please. Except for one thing I could see. There were always new cuts and bruises on her damaged skin. She was getting weaker every time I saw her. She looked like she might fade away at any moment. I... I really couldn't help but feel like I knew what was happening all too well. Oh, because he goes through the same thing with Albert. Ooh. So he might have an idea. Like she doesn't exist, huh? Well, she exists to me. Why didn't you say that to her? Uh, maybe she doesn't see it that way? Does she have no one to belong to? Is that why she feels that way? But if so, if she's nobody's and has no one, why is she so beat up all the time? Go find her. Go find her. I've got to hurry home. They find out I got out at night. I can't make graves pets any er, pet graves anymore. I see her. 
run into the house. Why are the lights on in the house? Wait, is someone awake already? I gotta quickly put my mask away and sneak back into my room. Okay. Sneak the mask. Let me see your beautiful ginger hair. <laughs> hey, look at him, little boy. There we go. Now I just need to get back to my room and pretend to be asleep. All right, we can do that. Or not. Did someone wake up? Uh, sorry to do this so early, but your mother's worried about you. Mom? Oh, it's the mom talking. You haven't been feeling well lately, right? I'm so worried, wondering what you might be going through. You know how your father just keeps saying it'll be okay, like he's not even thinking about you? So I had to wonder if that was worrying you, making you feel anxious. Is the pressure of being the eldest a bit too much for you? I know your father praises your brothers more, but you don't need to worry about that. It's fine. You don't have to let it consume you. You have a good head on your shoulders. You have all sorts of talents. If push comes to shove, you can just forget about family tradition because your talents may be better off at work in something else. So listen, stop moping. If you try harder, I know life will get better. Oh. Shut up. Albert, you... When did you become a boy who'd say that to his own mother? I'm saying all this for your sake. What's wrong with telling you there might be another way? So you'll be fine because you're the oldest son, the eldest, the big brother. Have a little more confidence. You can be the kind of person your brothers are jealous of. No, you know. I'm sure they're already jealous of you. You're such a fine eldest son. All you have to do is be normal. That's it. So think of how they'd feel if you lose it like this, especially Eddie. Think about him. He loves the graveyard more than anyone, and yet you understand, right? So come on. All you need to do is pull it together and act normal. So just stop all this. Go back to the real you. Oh, I don't know if that's the thing you should say. That doesn't sound right. There's nothing weird about me. Think about how Eddie feels. He doesn't have any pain in his life. He doesn't know. But none of you will shut up. You, him, everyone, you all mock me. Everyone talks bad about me. I know you all do. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Hey, do you have any idea how early it is? What are you yelling about? Albert, go back to sleep. You're helping in the graveyard today, understand? Albert! Why? Why would you send him off like that? You stop spoiling the boy. You keep treating him like that and he'll never take over the business right. A gravekeeper has to treasure those he buries and make their gravestone with love and care. You need to treasure what you're given and protect it. That's our core value. Yet, yeah, just look at how he's been acting. We need to teach him more harshly what being a gravekeeper is all about. He doesn't like the capacity of, the, of that now. We need to give him some confidence first. But you spoil him won't help. It work out as long as we're strict. The eldest of the family has always taken over the business. He can get through this too. But... Good grief. If you're keeping this up, we're doing it inside. Shit. And he's just like, well then. Mom's pretty <laughs> Damn! <laughs> okay. When did you become that kind of boy? That's so dumb. With Albert like that, he's not coming back. Was he different before? Dad's an idiot, too. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. Excuse me, little boy? Why are you calling your parents idiots? Albert probably can't pull off the gravekeeping dad wants him to. 
I mean, I'm the, the one who, who fits the bill, right? Then why? Why is all... Why this all revo revolving around Albert? And they worry about me? How bad for poor Eddie if Albert gets any crazier? It doesn't matter if Albert loses it or not. It's all the same. I love being a gravekeeper. And I love making grapes. As long as Albert's around, I'll never get get to take over the family. It's just... It doesn't matter how much I treasure or care for anything here. Because in the end, none of it will be mine. I hate getting beat up, but that fact is just... It hurts so much more. Uh, you know, I really, really just want to make someone's grave right now. Yeah. It's only in that moment that they become my treasures. And whenever I see her, I'm just so, so happy. Ah! <laughs> yes! I show me, show me, baby. Yes. <laughs> After that day, Albert threw fits every night. He seemed to hate me a lot more than before, too. So his violence towards me, secret to the rest of the family, became much, much worse. Oh no, baby. Pain, physical and mental, my suffering continued. But what was worse than the beatings was how much harder it got to leave the house at night. She said, see you again, and I, I wanted to see her again. Because the time we promised to each other, it was like a treasure, belonging only to the two of us. Oh, show baby, my boy. My son. Hmm. I guess he's just punching the walls. Albert's really... He's not going to get any better, is he? I want to finally go to the graveyard tonight. I haven't seen her in so long. I wonder if she's there. I'd feel really bad for making her wait so long. I swear if she's dead... How long has it been since you last saw her? He's quiet down? Did he go to sleep? I... I can leave now, right? Good. Now then... What was that noise? <laughs> exactly. What was that sound? It came from downstairs. Out... Aren't there tools downstairs? Like a pickaxe and a shovel? I knew it. It has to be him. The pets are scared. They're gonna get sick from stress. And then, well, if they die, I can bury them, but... Getting sick just because of Albert? I didn't want that. That's why I let him hit me all this time. I'm going downstairs. Oh no. Oh no, do we have to? Is Eddie gonna die? I'm gonna be sad, aren't I? <laughs> I just know it. I don't wanna do this. Hey, come with me. Still scared. You're scared too? I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Mm -mm. Stop it, Albert. Why are you doing th to the family bird? Come on, quit it. If you're going to hit anyone, just hit me. Please, I'm begging you, just stop. The pets are only yours, Albert. You can't just do whatever you want with them. Come on, leave her alone. Uh. She won't shut up. She's like, oh, you all, she keeps talking bad about... Has he gone insane? Is he like... How- what? Shut your beak. Quit it! Leave her alone! 
If you keep hitting the cage, she'll... She'll die. Oh my god. Uh... Oh no. What do you think you're doing in the middle of the night like this? What... What have you done? Calm down, boy. Get your ass over here. Uh, Albert. Why would you... Uh, who's talking? Eddie, get back to your room now. What is happening? What? What just happened? I... No. I should at least make her a grave. Oh god. Poor little thing. She's been beaten up and her neck's broken. This is awful, just awful. I got a bird corpse. Ha ha ha. Fuck. Normally when a pet dies, I'd feel sad. And just a little bit happy. In fact, I look forward to it. But tonight... I've got to bury her quickly and then... Just like always... Oh no. I don't like this music. I don't- I think something bad's gonna- <laughs> Oh no, my boy. Our boy! Our boy! No! This is weird. I just can't... Here I am, in the graveyard, but I just can't feel excited. I I should hurry and make that grave. Then I'll feel it. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, boy. Let's go bury the bird. If it'll make you happy. I want to see my happy boy. My poor boy. Hey, sorry. I'm really out of sorts, huh? I totally forgot to pick your flowers. Uh, it's late tonight. There's not much time, so... I'll bury you first. Oh. I tried my best making her grave. I was diligent, like always. And yet... Your, your girl's not there. This grave is for... The bird that Albert up and killed on his own. Poor boy. Not mine. This bird's last moments, they aren't mine. Not when she was killed by Albert. They were stolen from me. Oh, no cry! Mm, no. No. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Their last moments, they're going to be mine and mine alone. I'm sorry, I, I wanted to bury you as my own. I know you would have been happier that way too. But... That can't happen. You're not mine. You're not even the family's. You're... You're his. Taken away so horribly. So hideously. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Your last moments, they weren't peaceful. Oh, Baby. No. Eddie? That voice. What's wrong? Uh, well, are you crying? Go comfort your man. <laughs> so you were digging a grave. Yeah. Eddie, you always have so much fun when you're making graves. Such a gentle touch. So what's wrong today? 
Are you sad? When I'm making graves, it always felt like I was burying treasure, you know? But this bird, she... she was murdered. Worst of all, it was my brother who did it. Who didn't care about her. Do you mean you won't make this grave then? No, I will. Because I do just love making graves. I'm proud of my work as a gravekeeper. Prouder than anyone. Oh. Mind if I watch? I wouldn't mind you here. But try not to look at my face too much, okay? Sure. Oh. My baby. It's done. You finished the grave? Yeah, but... I'm sorry. Because no matter how beautiful I make this gravestone, I can't help but think it's not beautiful, not lovable. It just makes me want to apologize. Isn't that just awful? Cheer up, Betty! This gravestone's really beautiful! Like, you made it just as lovely as you always do. After being put into a grave like such a treasure, I'm just sure that she... she has to be happy. Enough to make me jealous. Stop that! I don't want to hear that you think she was happy. She isn't even mine. I'm sick of hand-me-downs. And look at this. There's no way she was happy buried like this. Not this hideously. Eddie. And you're jealous of that? When you... When you won't be mine either? When you... When you won't tell me anything about yourself? But of course you wouldn't. Because it's like you. Like you don't even exist, right? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Hey. Those bruises. You didn't fall, right? Did someone do that something to you? I know, buddy, calm down. You need to calm down. Take a take a notch down a little bit. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry, Eddie. I was really insensitive. Huh. No, not at all. I'm I'm the one who I'm sorry. It's alright. I mean it was all true. But Eddie, what I said a while ago, that was all true too. When I see the gentle care you take in your graves, I really think the pets you bury there are like treasures. And I really have to envy that. Because I probably can't become a treasure to anyone. You're a treasure to Eddie! Th that's not true! I might have been mean to you a minute ago, but you really... You have a really beautiful voice, and you're really fun and kind. And, uh, uh, well, I I really like when I get to see you. So, uh, um, well, uh... Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you really are a kind soul. He confessed. He, I think he confessed. <gasps> he confessed his feelings. You know, maybe everyone would be happiest if they became yours in the end. Huh? Huh? Kidding, kidding. Yeah, of course. Hey, Eddie? Hey, I wanna know. If I end up a ghost, will you say, see you again to me? Huh? I have to go now. B but why? It's earlier than normal. I'm just feeling a little sick, so I'm going home. Hey, um, those bruises. Where did you get them? Eddie, see you again. Oh! See, see you again! Come back sometime. Promise me. Oh. Everyone should become mine in the end, huh? 
Is this where he got the idea to make, like, the graves and... Is that why he became obsessed with that in the main game of... Maybe. I can see that. Her being the reason he does what he did in the main game. Because he wanted Rachel to become his and not Zach's. Which makes more sense now. See you again, Eddie. Man, I said some kind of weird today. Yeah, he wanted Rachel to become his too. Because the only way they could be beautiful in his eyes if, is if they were his. Is what I'm seeing. I'd better hurry home. Everyone at home has started getting suspicious lately. Oh shit. How do I get how do I get to your house? I've never done this before. My legs, my arms, they just hurt so much. I'm just so hungry that my stomach kind of hurts. If I get too weak to move, I can't see Eddie anymore. I'll just lie down when I get back. Can you lie down here? Cuz then Eddie can be you can stay Eddie's. Walking so slow. It's scary. I oh, know. I just teleport. <laughs> I don't get to see how it were how do I get to her house? That took some time, but it's still dark. I should be fine. I don't know about that man. I don't know. Hey, there are some berries here. Eat. I wonder if I can eat them. I'll just pick a tiny bit and have some. Yes. I'd love to give some to Eddie if they're tasty. <gasps> oh no. No, no, no. Shit. Run. Can I run? Can I run? Can I run? <laughs> Please? Please run. Please run. Please run. No, um, don't stall. Run. Please run. This isn't what it looks like. I was just... just a little hungry. I... I wasn't trying to mess up the flower guard. I'm... I'm really sorry. No. 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 <laughs> she better not be dead, I swear. He just confessed. Oh, if she's dead. Oh, if she's dead. Oh, if she's dead, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> if she's dead, I'm gonna cry. I'm not sure why, but I have a really bad feeling. I wonder if she's alright. I'll see her again, won't I? Nope, apparently not! Gotta get inside. No, go to her. Run. Albert? Albert, that... That was horrible what you did last night. I know, I swear. She's... Uh -huh, I don't... That's like a bittersweet, though, if like he has to end up digging her grave. Like, <laughs> Please, I'm begging you, just don't- don't hurt our pets like that again. Then, take it out on you instead. Ah. I know you can kind of see that from the beginning, but still, I'm like, ugh. Alright, fine. Alright, fine. Just- just leave them alone. No! No! Oh, I hate Albert. Oh, why you no? <laughs> Don't hurt my baby! <clears throat> my boy. Since that night, she stopped visiting. That was the beginning of days I just couldn't enjoy. Oh my god, my eyeballs. Holy shit. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> oh, my eyes. Jeez. Oh my god, Eddie. 
Ever since then, it felt like Albert truly went mad. He stopped going outside. He kept tormenting the pets. I know, ouch, my eyes. That was so red. It was like a neon red. Oh my god. When he did, I would take the abuse for them. The bruises under my clothes grew by the day. Oh. No. Yet, still, every day I went to the graveyard. She wasn't there. Yet, she never came, even though I waited so long. No. Oh, my eyes. Oh, God. I hated my brother so much, and the pain made it feel like I was the one going crazy. If I could just get a glimpse of her, just spend some time with her, just thinking that kept me going, kept me heading to the graveyard. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how bad the weather. Oh, Baby. She just never appeared. Not the next day, or the day after. No matter how long I waited, she never showed up. Even though she said, see you again. Oh my god, why? It's getting, like, twistier. It's getting warped. Is Eddie getting warped? Is this the origin of Eddie, like, going crazy, like... Getting to the point where he's like how he is in the main the main game, maybe. But I didn't see her, and my brother kept robbing me of my days. When I was about to lose it in the depths of despair, I I finally realized it wasn't that she couldn't come. Huh? It's not that she won't come. She probably just can't. She must be in the same situation I am. No. She's just like that bird. Go get her. Go see her. What should I have done? The bird, the girl, everyone, everything? What should I do? What should I have done? My awful brother just steals everything from me, everything I care about, in such a hideous way with no love, no kindness. And worst of all, her last moments were stolen from me. It's so awful. This hopeless, hideous world filled with pain. What should I do? Tell me what should I do? You know, maybe everyone would be happiest if they became yours in the end. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna- he's- something's happening. And his little- his noggin. Is- is that what I should do? For those I love? That would- that would make them happy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, before they're stolen from me, I'll make sure to do them right. With these hands, right to their last moments. Ah. Wait. Eddie, why the hell are you smiling? Oh, I know, he broke, he broke hard time. Big time, oh my god. He's smiling. What's wrong, Albert? It hurts so much. Every time you punch me, why would I be smiling? You... You're just, you just won't stop mocking me, will you? Hey, Eddie. Albert, what are you doing to Eddie? <laughs> Nothing at all. Isn't that right, Albert? You stop that now. Stop laughing at me.
So, Cairo, need something? Need something? do you... You need something from me, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know how we have two cats? One of them's kinda old and sleeps a bunch. Yeah? Well, about her... She hardly been awake lately. Uh, she's a bit too old for surgery. I feel bad for her, she's in so much pain. Hey, dear. It's about our cat. I just can't bear to leave her like this. We should think of euthanizing the poor girl. Is Eddie gonna kill it? Is Eddie gonna kill the, the cat? So, mom and dad were talking. You care the most about the pets, so I figured I'd tell you. And I really see why our cat's all sick and stuff. It's probably because Albert's been tormenting her. Of course. Thanks, Kyle. I don't like this, though. Euthanizing the poor girl? I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. I can't have that. Can I? Can't. I can't. <laughs> Hey man, I gotta ask, you sure you're okay? What do you mean? I mean, isn't Albert putting you in a pretty rough place? A rough place? What do you mean? If anyone's in a rough place, isn't it Albert? Hey man, you really don't need to cover for Albert like that. I mean, Albert just has to take on everything here, doesn't he? Even what he doesn't care about, or treasure. Get it? That's why he can do such mean, horrible things. That means that Albert and everything that has become his will be hideous and miserable. Incredibly miserable. Right? Eddie? Albert's an idiot, you hear me? I feel bad for him. I know what's important to me, so I d I'm not in a rough place. I don't feel bad for- <laughs> don't feel bad for me. Even our cat you told me about, I know how important she is to me. How dear she is to me. He's really lost it. He really has lost it. Oh my god. I can treasure what's most important to me to the very end with those gen- with these gentle hands. Me. Uh, okay. I'll- I'll make her happy. I need to hurry to my cat. I won't give her to anyone. No one but me. Because... I can mourn for her in the best, most caring, most gentle, most beautiful way. I feel kind of weird. Like, this is scary, but also really fun. No, it's just terrifying. It's kind of scary. Uh, you've kind of gone off the deep end, my dude. Like, my heart's beating faster and faster? It feels so exciting, spreading joy like this. Okay. I mean, if you're happy. Uh. Wait, I gotta dress up like a proper gravekeeper first. Okay. I guess... Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Oh look at him, he's so cute. My mask. Albert doesn't go out all anymore at all, so this mass is just rotting here, treasured and used by no one. It's so, so sad. So I'll, 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 go, I'll take good care of it from now on. Are they, the, what? Oh, is that why it's, is it bigger now? Right, right. It got bigger. Because it's a bigger mask. Damn. Interesting. Alright. I'm all ready. I... Just need to know I'm the only one. I'll give her the best. The best resting place she could ask for. And don't worry, you'll get your turn. And when you're worn out, I'll tear you up so that no one can have you. 
Yeah, it's the bigger, biggest brother's mask, the one that's been beating him up. That's his mask. So it makes sense if it's bigger. Because it, it does look bigger. It'll be okay. All the pain is just going to go away. You don't need to be in such a sorry state anymore. You're going to finally be happy. So come. Come with me. I got an old cat. He's gonna kill it. Oh, he's gonna kill it. I just know it. See? The weather's great today. It's a perfect day, isn't that great? Oh god. Uh. <laughs> huh? Did you fall asleep? Not yet, alright? You can't go dying on your own. What? Does that mean you're really trying to kill this thing? Uh, oh yeah, you really like cold breezy places, right? Just a little longer, just hold on a little longer. Oh my god. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get some water. <laughs> oh, you're up? Good girl. You couldn't have picked a better time to wake up for me. Hmm. Hmm? Eddie? You, you, you there? Uh, I, I won't torment you like Albert did. You're dear to me, like a treasure, so I want to treasure you until your last moments. I just know I can take you to a place more wonderful than any other. A beautiful place with no pain or sadness. I love you. So. So. Rest in peace. <laughs> Why? With a cat stone, cat, cat ear stone grave. Uh. <laughs> oh no, Eddie. Eddie, my boy. Oh no. This was the right choice, just look! This grave is so beautiful and I'm so happy. And most of all, I just know this cat's happy too. She's gone off to a beautiful place where she can f can't feel any more pain. And I'm so happy I was able to make you such a wonderful grave. Joy, pure joy for me, for you, for us! Yeah, yeah. Before that hideous brother of mine steals them all away. I have to make graves for everyone. No. Uh, do I have to kill all the animals? I'll make graves for each and every one of you. No! No! Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? You're always so energetic and you love me so much. Always look at me, I love you too. You're so slender with those round little ears, so cute. I love you. Oh my eyeballs, oh my god. You're so small and agile. You're all brown too, kind of like us. I love you. You're so soft and fluffy and your butt's adorable. I love you. You have been so scared of Albert. Oh, the humanity. I'll make you happy. Oh, God. You never let me touch you, but I always loved how cool you were. Oh, God. I always, You're always crawling on the walls, and your skin's cool to the touch. You're kind of scary, but I love you. Oh, not the duck! You're tiny and snow white. I love snow, which means I love you. Oh my god. The water you're in always looks so nice. I wish I could swim all the time. I love you. Eh. 
in now. Just like that, everyone that goes into my graves, all of them are happy as can be. Me, and only me. Only I can make everyone happy. Oh, he broke. He, he full, he completely broke. Oh no. Oh, there's so many animal graves. Oh my god, this is an animal graveyard. I've made graves since then, bit by bit, one by one. That wasn't one by one. They weren't stolen from me. Oh no, nothing so sad. I felt like I've put my dear little treasures into boxes of joy. Uh. I wonder, why didn't I realize this earlier? If I just do this, she, even she'd... I wonder if I'll ever see her again. I want to see her. I want to see her again, even if it's just once. Wait, was that her voice? Maybe I'm just imagining it. That reminds me, she asked if I'd say see you soon again if she'd end up a ghost. Could that mean... Wait, no! I feel it! She's here! What? Maybe... here? Oh. I mean, that's where you guys were together a lot, so I figured. I mean, he was such a good boy, but what happened? Why'd you- why? You broke! Ah! Hey. Hey, you're just sleeping, right? Well, too late. He found her. <laughs> Wake up! It's me, Eddie! Please? <laughs> Eddie? Yeah, it's me! Her fate- oh my god. Thank goodness. I managed to see you, Eddie. Hey, am I uh, a ghost? Huh? What? No, you're not. You're you're alive, and I gotta see you again. Yeah, you're no ghost. Oh, you know, I thought I'd gone and died. But well, if if I'm still alive, then Eddie. I want to go to that secret place of yours again. <gasps> sure, definitely. Let's go. There's there's still time. Thank goodness. She can't walk. Oh, your I can hardly stand. Don't worry, I'll hold you up. Oh. Baby, are you sure, Eddie? I'm not too heavy. Don't worry. I have to move stone around a lot on the job. Watch your feet, okay? We'll take it slow. Oh, babies. She's gonna die. <laughs> I'm calling it. She's gonna die and he's gonna bury her. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, while you were away, the cemetery got really nice. It did? Like how? I can't wait. Uh... Yeah, it got it by his hands. These graves. I made them all myself. Every one of them. Graves for my dear pets. They're such dear treasures to me, so I treasured these graves just as much. That's amazing, Eddie. I like these graves. They're all your treasure chests. Really? Of course. Just look how cared for they are. The pets sleeping in them. You treasured them until the end, didn't you? 
They're all so happy, so radiant in there. I have to envy them. Hey, if you're curious about any of the graves, I can tell you about them. Thanks. So do we go to the graves? This is our ferret's grave. He was really thin and his eyes were round. He was adorable. Oh, I wish I could have seen him. This is our lizard's grave. You had a lizard too? Wasn't it scary? Just a little, but her skin was really cool when you touched it and it was small and cute. This is our dog's grave. She really loved me and I loved her. Which is why I'm so happy I got to make her a grave. I'm sure she's just as happy too. Yeah. I just know she'd be happy. Alright, next grave. This is our duck's grave who loved cool water. It's cool down there too, so I'm sure she likes it. Wow, being in a grave sounds pretty comfortable. <laughs> I don't know about that. This grave's for our our, our more a floof cat. She wouldn't usually let me touch her, but sometimes she'd be cute and rub up on me. Really? You know, that kind of sounds nice. This one's our rabbit, too. She had really fluffy, white little butt, and it was cute. <laughs> I wish I could have pet her. I know, she's worrying me. She's like, yeah, I'm ready to die. Put me in a grave. Remember the rabbit I told you about? She was really energetic, always with her cute little ears standing up. You've been really nice ever since we first met Eddie. Oh, God. Alright, let's start from this one. This is an old one for our hamster. He was just as small and round as this grave, and really cute. Wow, look how tiny and round it is. Here lies a snow white chinchilla. She was really elegant like snow. So that's why this grave is a little artsy too. This one's for a really old cat. I made sure she didn't have a miserable death and gave her a happy burial. Oh. She must be a happy cat. This is such a sad grave. If only I made her happier earlier. I'm so sorry. This is for our fast little brown chichilla. Uh, she, he was such a cute little guy. Wow. Sounds like kind of like you, Eddie. <laughs> I think so, too. This is an old one for our goldfish. It was the very first grave I made my <laughs> for, <laughs> very first grave I made myself. So, that's why this one is a little older than the others. That's all the graves. Let's go. Ah, oh, I went too far. Oh God. Just make sure you don't trip. It's a little bit farther. I will. Thank you. Oh God. Oh god. Oh no. Wow. I just love it here. Hey, let's go to a place with a better view. This is gonna be her burial site, isn't it? I can see it now. Oh, but look at them! I know this is sad, but also, look at them. Damn. <laughs> hey. Yeah? What is it, Eddie? Why won't you tell me anything? I was scared. Scared? After my parents died, another family took me in. But they didn't even want me breathing their air. If they found me out of their storage room, they'd beat me. You know what I was in that house? Something that didn't exist. Why would you take in a child that you d you neglect? What? That make why? I don't. <sighs> that's horrible. So that's why I don't have a place to go to home. Go home to. I'm unneeded. Someone nobody wants. I just didn't want to say that. It's it's just. Miserable to say, you know? I'm just too scared to say something so sad. I know how you feel. 
you just don't want to admit to yourself that your lot in life is really that sad. You too, buddy? Yeah. See, we're a lot like each other. Oh. <laughs> we're both pretty weird, huh? You know, I wish I really did end up a coast. Then I could go back to where I wanted and when I'd say to see you again, I could mean it. Come back here whenever I pleased. <laughs> He's gonna be like, do you want me to do it? You, do you, you want to go back somewhere? Yeah, a place I could really go home to. Where I could just be. If only there was such a place. Instead, I have to go back. Back to that house. Not if you die. <laughs> then, if you had some place else, you wouldn't have to go back there. Right. There were some place else. Eddie? Before long, those people who don't even care about you, they're going to kill you. And then you'll end up in a grave I don't even know about. I can't stand the thought of that. I don't want that to happen. I don't. I don't. The thought of someone stealing you away in some awful way and then going into someone else's grave. Like that bird. Eddie? But don't worry. I've got it. I know a wonderful place. A place that you'll accept. If you were there... You won't need to say see you again. You won't need to say it anymore. I'll take you to a place I know you'll always be happy. So, give me your last moments. Eddie. Oh no. You'll... You'll always be... My dear treasure. Holy shit. Oh my god. I... forever yeah there's no better way I mean think about it you couldn't ask for a happier grave could you I just have to put everything into your grave last moments and all and if I do that as long as these graves are here as long as they keep standing for all eternity. You'll all be mine. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's it? That's it? Oh, don't play the happy music! Ah! Oh my god! I'm just... I, 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 I'm just... Oh, look at them! <laughs> His head in the grave just vibing. Oh my god. Yeah, 
I know, he was such a good boy! Why did, why was Albert a dick? <laughs> why, was, why did Albert have to be a dick? To my poor boy. That's it, yep, that's it. Oh my god. Holy shit! Well, that was Eddie's backstory, oh my god! I... Hold up, let's go just chatting. <laughs> but oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, in the end it wasn't- yeah. It's interesting- I like this backstory thing, this was cool! Like, getting to see how Eddie became how he was in the main game, like, Angels of Death. Like, uh, he, he wasn't always this way. He, he broke because he was fucking abused by his oldest brother. And he just accepted that he had to. And, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh, Eddie, my boy, my son, oh, my poor baby. He went through so much and then became a murderer. That was- it was a trip of emotions. It was very much a trip of emotions. But so was Angels of Death. So was Angels of Death. Emotions. 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 <laughs> hello! Hello, dear. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, this game was so good, though. This was a good game. I'm happy I got to play this and see more about Eddie. Because he was one of the characters in Angels of Death you didn't get to know a lot about before he just died. <laughs> so, <laughs> before Zack killed him. Because we got to know a lot about Zack and Gray and Kathy and Danny and Rachel. But we never got to know much about Eddie. So I'm glad they made this like little side episode for him. Because I liked seeing his origin story and his like little family. Even though it was really sad. Before Zack destroyed him. Yep. Before Dak Zack destroyed him. <laughs> Well, I mean, he got pushed in a grave and then in- I think- what is it? The grave he prepared for Rachel? <laughs> well, I know, the music is such a vibe. It's- it's- the- the music for this game was so good. I love it. I just hate that this- the vibe music was at the end when it was so sad. Why did they do this? Angels of Death knows. They're like, alright, sad ending, vibe music. We're good now. You won't be sad. <laughs> That's the one way to get people. And you're like, ah, oh, you won't be sad this way. You just vibe to the music. You just gotta bop your head along. Just, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you just joined and started vibing. Yep. Yeah, I know. We are, we're ending stream. Uh, but let me... I know, in the... <laughs> Pretty much. In the end, like, beginning, I was vibing for like an hour before I even started streaming. And then I was like, alright, time to stream, and then I was like, still vibing to the music, because it's so good. It's so good. It's so fucking good. But then it's like the end, it comes back, and you're like, wait, I don't want to dance, this is sad! He just killed his fucking girlfriend. They couldn't be happy together, and that makes me sad. Like, uh -huh. why? I'm so- uh -huh. seen my friend stream in a long time. We're gonna go we're gonna go raid her. We're gonna go raid Danny. Uh, hold up. Let me put this in. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright. Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm glad you're vibing to the music with me. I hope you liked this episode and what like learning all about Eddie's backstory. It was fun. It was so much fun. I love this. Uh, I actually will be- I won't be streaming, but I will be taking part in a collab tomorrow with Lunar Gabriel. So if you want to see me that- uh, see, uh, Gabriel's stream, she's, uh, celebrating affiliate. So yee! We're gonna be playing Jackbox tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific time? Yeah. 2, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time. PST. So yee! Thank you guys so much for coming. We're gonna go raid- uh, I think- did I spell her name wrong? Oh, uh, wait. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Hold up. Cancel. I spelled it wrong. No! Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I spelled shit wrong. I can't spell. Ah, I can't spell. I can't spell. 
one moment. Do I know how to spell? No. Words. Uh, raid. This one. Start raid. There we go. That's the right one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming. I uh, hope to see you again next week or at Lunar's collab tomorrow. Bye bye.